Hello and welcome to my uh, karma space and, uh, and I'm going to teach you or show you how to make a Parisian alert. Um, so I've got my guide up here, uh, there we are, and just to make sure I'm okay I've got my alert meter. Uh, just to make sure if I get uh, if I lose my alertness I can immediately stop uh, so I won't uh, do anything na nasty naughty or anything else okay so as you can tell I've got my karma music on um, first first thing I've got to do is to actually get my uh, PPE kit uh, ready so um, Initially, I'm just going to turn off the music for a moment. Okay, so, first of all, uh, you can't really see this, but I'll just make it obvious to you. I've got my PPE on, my private's protection equipment. Um, so you've got a water bottle for any uh, unforeseen circumstances. Then, uh, let me see, further up, um, I've got uh, my eye protection, uh, my head protection, and just in just to really make sure, I've got my basket protection. Okay, uh, I've got also glove hand protection, really important. A glove that you can't cut through, well, theoretically at least. And if I need it, I've got a little um, doobry thing that goes on the end of my uh, thumb uh, to help me with uh, cutting when pushing the knife and so on. Uh, good little leather thing that. Okay, so, guide to making a Barisian, Barisian alert whistle. Very important in these days. Alert. I am on high alert at the moment so I'm I'm it with it and I will without doubt not cut my finger off. So I'll check every five minutes. First of all number one find a suitable piece of wood. Not too hard and not too thick. Really important, not too thick. I've chosen today a piece here. Uh, it's ash and I'm going to cut a piece off. It's quite large for a whistle but um, since alerts are really important um, I mean you can't see the home guard going around with a piddly little whistle can you? So we'll have a proper proper alert uh, almost a trumpet, flute, whatever. First of all then, first of all, I cut it. Let's uh, dip this down so you can see what I'm doing a bit better. Alright, so I start off by cutting. Uh, uh, it's the wrong end for you, but never mind. Uh, so I'll take, there's a knot there, I'll take that off. And I'll take a piece, I don't know, six to eight inches long is usually about right for most occasions, purposes. There we are. That's fine. Put the wood back. You can hear it's quite a gale outside. Quite windy. So that's quite nice and smooth and um, should do the trick really well. I could always take off this little knot here but I might be able to incorporate that into I don't know a, an eye on the face or something like that. 
when I decorate it. All right, now, next I have to drill a hole up its bottom. Um, all good Borussian alerts have a hole. Uh, ooh, how high do we go? About three to four inches long. Which end? That end, I think, today. So I'll put it in the vise. Get my trusty drill out and drill a hole. It's not a very big hole, but it should do the trick. I can always enlarge it later. Let's go. Fast. There we are. Nice and done. Nice and smooth. One hole. Straight up its bottom. Uh, the, the middle of the bottom of the stick. Okay. I'm just going to try and smooth that off a little bit. This is where the PPE becomes really important. So I wouldn't want to get any nasty substance in my, in my eyes or my face. I might need to just clean that up a bit with a file. Because it's a bit you can probably see it's a, just a little bit uh, fibrous in there. Actually it's quite good for this, but what's going on here? Why would it go in further than that? I don't know what's going on. That's better. So, get the uh, bottom hole really nice and smooth because you've got to insert something into that later uh, so it'll make the right noise okay now the next thing according to my list can you see my list hardly anyway it's up here uh, cut a slit across the stem I've got to cut a slit across the stem there in order to start making um, what we I suppose we could call a reed hole for the hot, hot uh, the, the wind blow to, to come out of. All right, so I'm going to take a I'm going to do this the quick way with a saw. So I shall just cut a piece across. Nope, I want it to be symmetrical with that water at the top. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's try this. About right, there should do. So, I've cut a piece across there which should go to about there. I hope. And I'm now going to cut at an angle like that so that I create the flute, the the reed effectively for the wind to blow over. Uh, Borussian alerts usually need a large hole for plenty of wind. Uh, let's see if this works. Oops, a daisy, broken it. my sort of half V shape. However, I can't see the hole through it and I should be able to. So I've got to do a bit of digging now. So I'll get my tools out and a little set of carving tools and start seeing where I am with this. And 
but I actually just just do this a little bit by hand just to open this up Oh yes, we're getting a hold now. It's a bit deeper than I would usually do. There we are. Can you see in there? There's a hole. There we are. So you blow through there, the bottom, and this thing creates a reed uh, for the air to blow across. Just trim that. And with luck, it doesn't always work, but with luck, we'll have an alert whistle. Alright, now, the next bit is quite tricky. Because what I've got to do is find a piece of wood, a bit like this, to go up the bottom, like that. See? It's got to go up so I can then form a little place for the air to blow up, to make a noise. I'll just see if I can make a noise with this one. Probably not. No. No, so I've got to shape it a bit first. And it's a bit small, so I shall rifle through my little bits and pieces here. Oh, my glass is coming off. Uh, better keep it on, just in case. Am I still alert? How alert am I? I think. Oh, probably gone down a bit. Keep alert. Going a bit orange now. So, that piece looks okay. Looks about right. I might have to whistle it down a bit. So I'll cut a piece of that. Why should we cut it? Nice and straight. Uh, I'll go for there. Okay, so there I have something that will not quite go in that hole yet, but if I just trim it a bit, I should be able to get there. And while I'm doing this, let's have a bit more music. Where's the music? Where's the music go?
Hi, welcome back. Part two. Um, this is where I will create some sort of design on my Borussian alert. Just to prove that it does work. There you go. Uh, I, the uh, the end stick is still the bottom the bottom hole stick is still there because until it dries the glue dries I don't cut it off so that'll come later okay um, because if you cut it off you've got nothing to fiddle with to pull it in and out so yeah that's why all right so I've got my PPE equipment on as usual. I've got my private part equipment. Uh, I'm going to get myself dressed up in my various bits of gear. So, let's see, first of all, Buggles. Well, Biggles. Scalp protector and cranium protector. There we are, we're off again. Uh, and I think I shall put my very practical anti cut glove on. Uh, uh, I bet you're envious of having a glove like that. Wow. So, uh, let me see what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a face to go on there and a head of so sorts, you know, a bit like a totem pole probably. So first of all, I think I shall just shape it a little bit so I take off a little bit there and there to give it a bit more sort of a lot a longish hollowed out face. So I shall use my little Wonderful little, I don't know what you call them actually, but it's a clever little thing. Right, Yushi. So I'll just take a bit of, bit of this off. Just, there we go. I'll do the same on the other side. With luck. There. Okay. There we are. And I shall also flatten the bottom so it lies nicely, sits nicely on the uh So it sits nicely uh, when it's laid down. That's it. Oh, bloody hell, come on. What's going on here? Right. I don't, I don't do it quite tight enough, that's the problem. There is the problem. It doesn't need much of it. Okay. So. That now sits. Okay. It's now got beginning to get. A, it's got a very slight narrowing there. Might take a bit more off. Just there. This could all go horribly wrong. I warn you. I have done my alert check before I started, and I am. Reasonably alert. But who knows what might happen? Let's try and get this smooth. That's it. Bum, 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 bum. 
Pum, 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 pum. There we are. The danger with this cutting business is you can end up taking too much off. It's not quite symmetrical. A little bit more there. And once you've taken it off, you can't darn well put it back on again. So you do have to be a bit slow and be alert. There we are. Okay, I think that's done. I can smooth it off later, but that gives us something to work with. Now I've got to put a nose somewhere in the middle here. If that's going to be my mouth, nose, eye, well, unicorn, narwhal, whale, I don't know, could be anything. We'll see. So, first of all, let's see if I can create something across there. Use my knife. Uh, this is where we have to be a bit careful. Keep those alert levels right up high. So, I want an eyebrow first. Uh, coming down there, I think. See, so I'll take that and that for now. Do I browse? I need a nose, just what I've got here, so I need to put it about here, don't I? Turn it around. You can probably hear Lupin occasionally outside because she wants to come in. If she comes in, she'll kill all trouble. So, she's staying outside for the moment. Getting there slowly. Sort of nostrils. You see that, Ryan? Yeah. Okay. Now, I've got to put an eye there and there. So I think for this we'll use a drill and just go about there and exactly opposite. You see, that's how easy it is to go wrong. Damn it. Got a decent hole there. As it was said. Okay. So, get one of my little, little knives. So I need to just pick out these little I've got wrong glasses on now as well. It doesn't help much. <coughs> Hello, Lupin. <coughs> Hold on. I'm just going to have to stop for a moment, I think. I can't really pause this, I don't think. 
Let's see if I can pause it. No, I can't. I'll edit it later. You want to come in? Come on, come on, sit to the side. Right. There we are. There you sit down. So, I've got a looping with me now. Uh, right, okay, so where was I? I can make 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 this stand out a little bit later by putting some... Maybe I'll use my burning tool. Not quite right yet. Just needs to get a bit more... Sometimes, if you play your cards really right, you can sort of put a little eyebrow on. Doesn't always work. We'll see. Oh yes. Okay, we're getting eyebrows. Hey. Something, eh? This is something. I think I could see. It'd be better, wouldn't it? Alright. That's a sort of taking shape now. Got to do with enlarging that nostril a bit. After all, this is a Borussian whistle. And I think Borussians have quite large nostrils. Even if I can't do the whole nose. Alright. Oh, this flaming thing. Don't know how to do this. I'll just work on that. Now then, having done that, next next trick is to use my little Dremel, which is rather cool. It's a cool way of quickly putting some marks on, <coughs> which I can then enhance later. So I tighten that up. Put this in here. You may struggle to see this, of course. If I bring this a bit closer, can you see that there? Alright. So there we are. So I'm going to make some marks on this. Uh, first I'm going to do some teeth. So let's just put a bit of tooth there. I'll 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 um, make that look a bit better with some um, with my burning tool later. And and now I'm going to do something with his hair. This is going to be an interesting one. Let's see what I can do here. Let me. All right. What should I do? So when I'm uh, when I finish all this, I'm going to cut some white string, and I'm going to cut it and stick it in these grooves, and that'll be his hair. His, I say. I mean, it could be her, perfectly well. Um, 
Yeah. And then I think we're just about done. Right, let's have a shot at this. Might as well do some hair on the back as well, actually. tool on that which is an interesting one because it can have some pretty fundamental effects right if I turn that on got to be quite careful with this it's um, it gets very hot so you can actually burn into the wood. So I'll keep it there. No, oh, no, I won't. What is this? What's going on here? What's going on? Oh, yeah. No. Move that. It's important to be tidy, and I'm not always the best, most tidy person in the world. However, so can you see? I'm going to make some burning marks in there, maybe on his teeth as well. And his, we'll just see how we go when it gets really hot. Takes a while. I'll test it out on something. Not hot yet. It's coming. There are all sorts of different types of these um, tools. Um, I don't know whether this is the best or the worst or whatever, but it's what I got bought anyway. So let's have a shot at this first. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm effectively widening the groove and making it a little bit more distinct. I'm not sure I need to but this is what I tend to do. I don't need to. So I'll let me have a go at the eye. What I want to do is get a bit of darkness of some sort into the eye. I don't know how this is going to work. Eventually, it should do. Oh, yeah, here we go. We're getting there. So it's a little bit of brownness on the eyes. Make it stand out a little bit. I'll do the same sort of thing with his nostrils. I think, if it's going to work. Come on. Come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I've got some nostrils now. Can you see them? Uh, yeah, just. Oh, yeah. So I've got a mouth. And it's going to get. I think I might actually just. Give uh, a little bit of a 
this is the risky bit. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of shaping here to give the nose. Oh, got that the wrong way around for a start. To improve this nose a bit. See, I'm not much of an artist, that's the problem. So, I don't really get how to do these things, and I'm just learning as we go along. A bit more of a nose, I think that'll do. I do like minimalistic though, so I don't like to overcook things. Let's turn that off, I think. Yep. So that is ready to take away. Oh god, hardly working. Shit, this is what always happens. Oh, still, you're already down there. Good god. No. Almost. 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 Oh well, back again. So there we have it. Just got to go and put his uh, hair on, and then we'll be in business. Good old Boris. Okay. I'll show you it when I've got the uh, string on. I can uh, go and I'll take off my busy, busy, busy glasses and bonnet now. Anybody want to accuse me of being a basket case? Well, here's your chance.